French. Thanks, this is awesome. Saturday. Normally I would be out with my girlfriends, getting drunk, having a girls' night. Just doing that, hanging out. Really love going out with my friends. I think the worst part about getting drunk with a bunch of girls is when you're drunk and it's like 3 a.m. and you want to go eat. Have you ever tried to get a group of drunk girls to walk <laughs> from a bar to a restaurant? It's like herding drunk, retarded sheep. <laughs> First of all, nobody knows where they're going. Everyone's freezing because no one brought a jacket. <laughs> It's so chilly. I'm chilly. I'm chilly too. <laughs> I'm cold. I'm eating grass. <laughs> I don't know. I have to pee. I have to pee. I don't have solutions, just problems. <laughs> <laughs> Every girl's got the one friend that's filthy and she has no issue with peeing behind a dumpster. She's like, I'm just gonna be here, will you block for me? You're running interference. Like, don't look at her sheep vagina. She's just peeing. Who's looking at that? Like, what dude's driving by? Like, oh, this night's so, ah, whoa. Is that a fat, drunk chick peeing on garbage? Yeah. Everybody has that one friend that has a poor moral barometer. She'll get in a car with anyone because it looks warm. And she rationalizes why he won't hurt you based solely on the way that he's dressed. Girls do stupid things like this. Like, he's not gonna hurt us. He's a good guy. He's wearing a Canadian's jersey. Fine. <laughs> Penguin's jersey, watch out. Pittsburgh fans in the audience in Montreal? Whatever. One, get her. <laughs> we found her. Everyone's drunk, everyone's freezing, just cold. No one knows where they're going because we're all relying on girl GPS. <laughs> which pretty much consists of one girl doing this. Um... I feel like it's this way. <laughs> so you're freezing now, now it's a half hour later, you're cold, you don't know what to do. <clears throat> you got the one friend that brought a jacket and she had it in her bag. She thought ahead because she's like two years older than the rest of you, you don't know why she's friends with you. It's weird, get a hobby. She shoved it in her clutch and she's been carrying it all night like I'm gonna have a jacket. <laughs> They're not gonna know, and you hear her take it out, and it's like gophers, like we can all alert each other, like mah, mah, mah. <laughs> You see, Amber has a jacket, mah. You go over to her, you're like, Amber, can we just borrow your jacket? Can we share? <laughs> can we share the jacket? <laughs> can I just put my <laughs> Can I just have like one sleeve? Can I just put it? <laughs> I promise you, no one's ever beaten hypothermia by sheathing one arm. Like you're gonna, and, just, and you try and she lets you, right? So now you got both your arms in the sleeve and the second you do that, you go from being cute, girly, unassuming sheep and you turn into this just three-armed, four-legged monster just walking down. Let's get cheesecake. Table for five, make it six. Becky's bringing her butt. <laughs> Thanks so much, Macho. Have you guys been watching this AIDS documentary on Fox? I think it's called Glee. <laughs> Who the hell uses an Indian as a slave? We don't make good slaves. Do I look ready to do hard labor right now? No. We don't do hard. We'll give a calculator. We'll do your taxes. You know what I mean? We don't.